the 1993 AFL Grand Final. Essendon finished on top of the ladder. It's amazing what a difference one year can make because last season they finished eighth. Carlton finished second this year, and last year they were 11th. Let's speak. What do you think? Do you think the Bombers uh, will uh, spring any surprises? Sheedy's renowned for it. Well, he is renowned for springing surprises. As you look at this Essendon side, the big question mark is do, will Dean Wallace play in the back pocket? Will he play at all as Carlton come out into the ground? And, uh, well, they've got a few experienced customers there, but they've also got those young players, as I said. But uh, there's Craig Bradley in the middle of that pack, and he's vital to the Carlton side. As we're still talking about the Essendon side, Wanganeen, the brilliant back pocket player, won the Brown Low medal this, uh, for this year. Will line up in the back pocket, of course. A big job for him, and a bigger job for Dustin Fletcher, a 17-year-old kid, and has to line up on Carlton champion Stephen Kernahan. And uh, what a big job for a 17-year-old schoolboy to be asked of. Well, the Bombers are coming out now to a mixture of roars and boos. Kevin Cheedy has been the master at Windy Hill for more than a decade. Bomber Thompson took over from the great man Terry Danaher. Leads them out. The question is, are the red and black back when it comes to grand final victory? From the middle, Somerville can't beat Madden. He pushes it wide. A chance for Spalding to get the first effective kick of the game. Down towards right half forward, but Bob Thompson is there defending for Essendon. Steadies with a long drop part up towards half forward. Christou was the flyer, wearing 39 for Carlton. He sees it over the line. And running onto it is Masidi with Alvin. Alvin with the experience, but it's taken now by Mercury. He steadies, shoots the ball into centre half forward. There's a scramble. Having a bit of a dust up with Buick, but the free kick is with Essendon and to be taken by Paul Salmon. Always the first goal is such a, a fantastic atmosphere as Salmon goes for goal. And he's kicked it. First goal Sexton's kick goes up towards centre wing. Harvey and Spalding both there. Now Craig Bradley. He's dynamic when he's going. Goes with a long kick up towards Kernahan. Dumped away by. Dustin Fletcher. This well, young man is the most publicised schoolboy in the country, and he's got one of the biggest jobs of the day today. James Hurd on the defensive side of centre wing. Up towards the wing. Oh, Grenville was the fly. He couldn't take the mark. The Bombers have the numbers. McCurry can set something up for Long. Clever, very clever. Michael Long off to Salmon because Silvani charged him. Oliver Inshaw on 50. Now he's outside 50. Gets clear from 49 metres, Ricky Olerenshaw goes across the face of goal, it's one behind because the second attempt to juggle it was taken over the line by Silvani Fletcher to bring it back into play goes straight down the middle, lovely kick almost to the centre of the ground, Williams waits at the back, but it's uh, to his opposite number Denham, in the middle now Michael Long, look at this boy go away goes Michael Long 50 metres out still going Away for Heaver. Heaver's little kick. Gathered by Gleeson, but oh, Wanganeen nearly took it with him. Brown kicked the full forward. Kernahan's got it. No mark. Play on. Elvin can't get past. Well scragged. Kernahan steps off. Kernahan! Carlton's first goal. Magnificent persistence by the captain leading from the front. Essendon lead by eight points. So the Blues are on the board in the goal scoring department. From the centre once again, O'Donnell twisting and turning, runs into trouble in the form of Christou. Ducked his head at the same time, Hill's got it wide. Essendon through Grenbold, looking to reply. A high kick up towards Salmon. 30 metres out, straight as a die, as if it was on a wire. Salmon gets his second. The Bombers answer, 3-3, plays 1-1. Chris Danaher. One of the great footballing families on the bench. Denham scouting, couldn't take it cleanly. Out it came from McCurry. Now they've got a chance. O'Donnell's going to have a second ping. 
Once he's away to the right, now he's away to the left. And these misses could prove costly because Essendon have dominated this game to date. If they could establish a six or seven goal lead early, it'd be very difficult to peg back. 3-5, plays 1-1. One, one. Typical of a grand final, however. McCurry pulls a little too far. The Bombers are having their chances, but they're not putting it on the board at the moment. 30, 34 kicks to 27, 25 handballs to 6, and 11 marks to 8, all in favour of Essendon. Tells Nine the scoring story. shots to 2, I think, is also another reflection of how much Essendon are dominating this game. Hoping to start something once again. There's that oval ball, Thompson, up towards the 50-metre line. Bombers are making a change, Jared Healy. Watson off for Wallace. So Wallace getting his chance, the veteran Watson off for the moment. There's a lovely hand pass to Denham. Denham shoots the goal and pops it through. And he says, thank you. Buick uncharacteristically overruns it. Bradley soccer's off the ground. Spalding. Wanganeen gives it away to Harvey. Harvey long and low to Hurd. Oh, the baby bombers are popping up everywhere at the moment. 34 goals in his career, this young man. He's now kicked 35. Five. So a quarter time here at the MCG in the 1993 Grand Final. Essendon lead after a wonderful first term. 5-8, 38, Carlton. A 1-2-8. So the Blues have the job ahead of them in the second quarter. They desperately want the first couple of goals. Madden wins it, but it's taken by Calthorpe down towards the 50-metre line. Mackay chances his arm. He's still going, the young man, giving it to Hannah. Mill Hannah. Cops one. He's down behind play as he gave it away to Hogg. Harvey. Hannah's in trouble. Let's have just a look, look at that. There. A big crunch there from Dean Wallace. And back with the live action, it's O'Donnell who has the football on centre wing. And is still down. They may have to stop this game because he's in that vicinity. The umpire says no, play on. Michael Long bouncing his way into goal. Long kicks and he's kicked it. How's this going to work? What sort of an effect is it going to have on both sides? Will it fire up the Blues? Gee, the pace has been a big difference, hasn't it? Very evident. Oh. Huh? Just Essendon running away. And another scalp on the belt of Dean Wallace. A player that uh, runs hard at the ball, but also hard at the man. If he gets an opportunity, he yeah. puts them away. And he certainly has done that to Mill Hanna. It's going to be interesting to see what does happen. Thompson had it, then he lost it. Denham oh, threads his way through the pack. Gives it to O'Donnell. The Bombers are looking like a champion team at the moment. Buick may get a chance. He's 40 metres out from goal. Hurd is there. Shrudge one tackle. Gets a long, low kick in towards full forward. Carlton has the numbers, but that's all. Oh, Wallace has kicked the goal. Work that out. Danaher sends them deep into attack, but a good mark taken by Bradley. Gave away a lot of height. Craig Bradley from half back. Kicks back towards the middle, but that's straight to the middle. Kernahan very late. What courage by Harvey. But that's what we know this player possesses. Wonderful courage. So Mark Harvey has it just on the defensive side of centre. Drifts it to half forward. And again, a good mark taken by Hurd. James Hurd is growing in stature as this game progresses. Salmon on the lead. Well, Dean Wallace has been moved down to full back temporarily. I think with boundary throw in. Fletcher doing the ruck work against his immediate opponent, Kernan. Handball away to Williams. Williams looks further afield. The kick has been smothered off the boot. Taken by Powell. He handballs to his own advantage. Over the top. Well stumbles. Go at it hard. Oh. He does. He stood up. Tried to get the hand pass to... Powell, Brown is caught, in goes Somerville, and the Carlton players appealing for the free kick, and on this occasion, umpire Goldspeak says, Tim Watson, you had every chance to get rid of it, and Ricky Oller and Shaw there, in Ooh. goes Somerville, whoa, that one fly, didn't he? The free kick is with Welsh, and he must kick this goal. Well, it's been a fantastic performance so far, we've gone under 10 minutes, 
Welsh goes for goal. It may just sneak through. It is a goal. Carlton goal. Can they come back? Kernahan. Marks on 50. This could bring them even closer. Steve Kernahan from just on 50 metres. He's got it. He's got it. it. Wasn't a very convincing kick, was it, Sandy? A floater. In the meantime, Denham is back on the ground for Essendon. But uh, that's an important goal for Carlton. Two quick ones. The kick goes into a half forward where McKay has taken the mark. And he kicks wide. Wallace up from the defensive role, taken by Denham. Short kick into the pocket, mark taken by Somerville. Long's on his own. Give it to him. He does. Long marks. Look to play on. Now he's he does. To... In towards the centre of the ground. And the mark taken by Mercury. Too many loose players there for Essendon. And this will kill off the Carlton surge. That kick is close. It's a goal. So Mercury kicks his second goal. And Essendon answer the only way they should. 9-9 for 3-2. And you still can't get a smile from Kevin Cheedy. Up towards half forward, Heaver. He's been one of their goal kickers, but he can't get into this game today. Calthorpe gets the hand pass away. Wanganin has been very steady. Fletcher, from a standing start, goes up towards the half-back line. Salmon takes the mark. Away they go again. Hill, will have to be quick. He is with a high kick up towards Somerville territory. Sandwiched between two Carlton players. Bielek, look at this. The are hot. Essendon were 5-8 in at quarter time, so they've kicked five goals one in this second quarter, and the Blues have kicked just two goals. Brown looks for Williams and gets him. Good tackle by Salmon. Ball spills now for Heaver. Handball ordinary. Puts big Justin Madden under pressure. Heaver's got a chance. He finds some space. He gets past. He's running near the centre of the ground, and he goes into the pocket. Looks for Welsh. Wallace up high. Kicked by Kernahan. It's going to go through. It's bounced through. Up towards uh, the centre of the ground. Sexton was the fly. Gleeson may try and thread his way through. He does so. Well done, Adrian Gleeson. Off to Silvani. Forced to use the left foot in search of Kernahan and finds it. And he gives young Dustin Fletcher just a little reminder. Let's say, hey, up in the forward line, I'm the master. Inside the last minute of the first half. A long drop punt. This is going to be very close. He's kicked it. Oh, what a great kick. That was the kick of a captain of his team that are in real strife. So at half time in the 1993 grand final, the young bombers have led from the front. They lead 10 9 to 5 2. And Greg Williams and Sean Denham have had a tremendous battle. And Essendon, at this stage, Sandy, looking pretty good. A margin of 37 points. Hannes at it again with Hills as the siren sounds. We're getting in a bit of trouble behind play. Heavy knock from Kernahan when they both went for that mark. In the meantime, play goes on. Along towards Salmon, the big man in trouble. He does get it away. Buick belts it wide to O'Donnell. O'Donnell's got a bit of space, plus he's got Ricky Olerenshaw. Clever chip by the youngster. Kick two in the first quarter. He's kicking from 49 metres. Well, his kicking has been superb. Almost the exact tactics as Sheedy used in the qualifying final. Gleason's kick to centre half forward. Marking contest. Kernahan, two grabs at it. And he brings it to the ground. Well, if the Blues get out of trouble here, they can thank this man, Stephen Kernahan. He's kicked four out of their five. It could be five out of six after this kick. Thank you, Ross Glenn Vinning. Here's a snap. It's high towards Hills and Hannah. The latter an effective spoil. Christou waiting down. Gives it back to Hannah. He's going to have to be quick. Look at Essendon harass. That was done by Watson and Grenville. It spills free to O'Donnell. The left footer can chip to the 50 metre line, and he does. And now Carlton looking right down the barrel as Mark McCurry 
will kick from probably 52 or 53 metres. Well, they did have their chance on this near side, didn't they? Yes. Coming out of the defence, but a hand pass, not quite accurate enough, caused by the pressure applied by Essendon forwards. Here's McCurry from 52 metres. Gets underneath a drop putt. It looks good. It is. Three goals to Mark McCurry. Madden favoured by that uh, throw in. He can't quite get the ball clear. Heaver's bucked off the football. Excellent play there by Essendon again. Long just backs away. Have a look at this. Take me on. Take me on. Take me on, he says. And still gets away with it. And pumps it to within 50 metres. Here, well inside. Away goes Chris Danaher. Have a look there. Brilliant football, Danaher. And out wide is Scholl. Can carry the ball. And runs past his opponent there, which was Thompson. Into centre half forward. Kernahan's mark. Kernahan has kicked four. Welsh has kicked two. Kernahan goes for goal. Long kick right to the line. It might have gone through. It has. The Blues need a two or three goal surge. Up towards half forward. Kernahan couldn't quite take the mark. Scholl plays it in front of himself. Well harassed by Ola Renshaw. Scholl gets his foot to it. Seminal mark. Oh, he drops it. But away goes Wang Yanin, the 1993 Brownlow medalist. It goes out the halfback. It bounces purely for, for Long. Long, come and get me, Millam he says. But Wang Yanin's run brilliantly from the back pocket. And his disposal, not quite for Heard. Christou falls over. Heard, handball. Wang Yanin will kick a goal. It bounces inaccurately. Maybe that could have been the play of the decade. <laughs> Through comes Scholl. He can't control it. Yes, he can. He gets it to Alvin. The Blues surge forward. Kernan's got it again. Absolutely magnificent single-handed performance by Kernan. Six goals. The only other goal scorer for the Blues is Rowan Welsh, who's kicked two. Just biting at Essendon's ankles. Kernan goes for goal. It's holding up. He's got it there. It's another goal. He's kicked seven, the captain. And the Blues pulled to within 36 points. Carlton fans have something to cheer about. Piva, can he storm through? Yes, he can. Bradley now. Alvin, 46 metres. Tommy goes for goal. come alive correct unbelievable both sides now are cheering one and three quarter minutes left in the quarter the blues with the last two goals madden's dominated the center away goes calthorpe they don't want this this will sting calthorpe's shot for goal it's on the line it's through calthorpe replies for the bombers back to 36 points the margin well it's under 30 seconds now Drifts it into the pocket. Oh, what a mark. The smoking Joe has gone forward. Joe Masidi, an exciting young player. Bunch of four or five that the Bombers have got. And this may well be the last kick for the quarter. He's not to know that. But he goes for home. He goes for home. Three-quarter time in the 93 Grand Final. It's set up for Essendon. It's there if they want it. 16-11, 107 to Carlton, 10-5, 65. Bomber. Captain to captain. Madden, but straight to Long. Oh, clever hand pass to Calthorpe. He'll go back to Long. He's running with him. Now he's clear. 80 metres out, 70 and closing, up towards full forward, and the mark taken at the back. Salmon will have a shot. This could really hurt Carlton. Salmon, this for number four. 40 metres out. He's kicked well all day. That's no exception. His kicking has been outstanding today. 17-11, that is 10-5.
the kick in short mark is taken by O'Donnell who is just putting a stamp on this game Gary O'Donnell quite brilliant around the centre of the ground and another brilliant kick to the goal front Spalding couldn't take the mark another goal to Western kick by Hurd it's all over gives the hand pass back to Welsh Welsh goes wide out towards the wing Scholl couldn't take the mark O'Donnell gets the ball to Ola Renshaw Beckett comes to Mercury Mercury in short well done good little kick for Salmon and he's marked about 40 metres from goal well it's been the young bombers as Jared mentioned mixed with a few experienced players and they've got plenty to look forward to absolutely slaughtered Carlton today 18-12 to 10-5 and Carlton with just two goal scorers Kernahan with eight sorry three now Tommy Alvin kicked one and Welsh has kicked three good kick by Salmon he's kicked his fifth but unfortunately for him it's been the Essendon youth that have dominated and filled the pages Grenville gives it to Danaher look at Long sheer excitement off to Mercury Long again is this man the best man on the ground? I ask you. To half forward, Wanganin. He had a shot at goal minutes oh. ago. Is long down behind play. He's just resting. He's exhaustion. <laughs> Sheer exhaustion. <laughs> There's less than 30 seconds to go. This is fitting, isn't it? This is very fitting, Robbo. The Brownlow medalist. He won the Michael Tuck medal for being the champion player in the night series at the start of the year. And now he wants to cap it off with a goal. And he has. He has. That may be it. And there's the siren. Victory for the Bombers. The 1993 winner of the Norm Smith medal is Michael Long of Essendon. Jared looking at the makeup of this team. They could certainly add to that in the years ahead. 